we're not concerned actually enough as a society with the pain and suffering that people all over our country and all over the world deal with. So to me, social justice would be uh, a mindset, a, a perspective that says we need to address inequality, which is the major problem that our world faces right now. I look at Mexican immigrants and um, their history of political activism in the United States, and I write about the way they've often been incorporated into our economy when our economy is growing, and the way they're often deported from our country when our economy is contracting. And so I think that process of bringing in Mexican people to do very difficult, uh, often very low paid work is a historic problem that continues to this day. And this, this phenomenon of sort of scapegoating them when our economy contracts and calling for their expulsion is a phenomenon that continues to this day. And I think my work also shows that these people, these Mexican people, Central Americans and others who immigrate here and who are courted to come here, uh, often bring all sorts of values and ideas that would benefit us as Americans. That is, we can learn from them. And yet if we see them as just a temporary laborer that's here to produce, to provide us with labor, and then to be expelled when we don't need them, that is, if we see human beings, and these human beings in particular, as disposable people, then there, is even, there isn't even a, a possibility, there isn't even an, a, a sense there that we can learn something from these people. And I think my work demonstrates that a lot of these people have ideas about social justice and have ideas about addressing uh, the challenges that laborers across our country deal with. And they have ideas about how to deal with those challenges. And they have ideas about how to create a more equitable society because they're in positions of exploitation, because they're in such vulnerable places that they've had to develop very creative ways of dealing with exploitation, of dealing with poverty. Many of my students have gotten involved in the immigrant rights movement here in Northeast Ohio. And that movement has been led for some time by um, the director of an organization called OLA. And the director's name is Veronica Dahlberg. And I've actually brought her to campus to speak on immigrant rights issues here in Northeast Ohio and in the country as a whole. And a lot of my students who have taken my classes have volunteered with her, have participated in events with her organization. and. What's great about that is they are learning about immigration on a conceptual, intellectual level in my classes, but then they're seeing what's at stake in the eyes and in the experiences of the actual immigrants who are currently being targeted by ICE, who are currently being incarcerated, and who are currently being deported. We live in these incredibly disgusting, really inhumane, unequal times. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, the idea that every 24 hours, 20,000 people die of man-made poverty. I mean, the idea that we have 600,000 to 3 million or more homeless people throughout the country. The idea that we have people in the United States, inside of the United States, dying of hunger. When in the United States alone, we can feed the world over. We produce some, something like, the last time I looked this up, some like, we produce food for almost 10 billion people. There's some 7 billion people on the planet. I mean, the idea that we have the resources, we have the technologies. Um, in terms of the homelessness, I mean, when you look at the numbers of vacant homes in America, we have something like anywhere, depending on who you also read, anywhere between 10 and 18 million vacant homes in America. And so we have 600,000 to maybe 3 million homeless people in America. So the question for me is, how do we have homelessness in a society with hundreds of thousands, millions of vacant homes? And that is because we have a value problem in America. I mean, we have a value issue, a value problem. It's the problems that we face at present are not about technology, they're not about resources, they're not about production. They really are about values. And there's a sense, I think there's a problem here in that we are not valuing human life the way we can. We need institutes like the Social Justice Institute to raise questions for people about whether or not the problem lies in technologies or resources or the problem lies in a really distorted sense of values.